Hello, today was my birthday. <laughs> Whoops, whatever. Um, and I had a fun time actually. I got this uh, nice scarf of Inter, one of my favorite soccer teams. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, damn it, I forgot the intro. I just finished watching videos of my childhood, and now I feel like a more grown-up person and a more mature person because my voice isn't as high anymore, and it's, and then, uh, wait, uh, yeah, I complain, so, uh, I complain, it's such a horrible thing to do, complain, and, uh, well, I'm complaining about it right now, I complain about the fact that I used to complain. Um, let's brush that off. Brush. Where, where's the pants? Legs. Let's brush that off. Okay. Anyway. Um. Just a little side note before I actually get in, dive into the topic of my writing. Um. I am going to begin putting up some uh, gaming vlogs of like me playing games and doing and making commentary about uh, like games like Splinter Cell Conviction, which I haven't played in like a year. Uh, Final Fantasy stuff like that. So if you're interested, uh, sub 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 uh, subscribe. Uh, do that stuff. Um, yes, comment, subscribe, do that stuff. Check me out on. No, that's for the end of the video. Damn it. Um, okay, start over. Okay. No. Okay. Let's let's not start over. As I said, I'm gonna do some gaming vlogs, games to play, and commentary. Good. That's oh, that's out of the field of hearing now. So, to the writing. Um, whoops, I burped. Not my intention. Um, yeah, I remember last video I was talking about my theories called uh, th called thieves. Um, this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, another genre that I write, uh, it's called Love at First Flight, it's a romantic comedy-ish kind of story, um, it's actually sort of really weird writing about it, cause it's sort of like an emotion, a feeling that I haven't really felt before, um, well, towards my family, but I mean like towards like another person that it's not related to me, um, so it's sort of weird writing about that, it's sort of, uh, like in uncharted grounds kind of feeling like I don't know if I'm writing the right thing or the wrong thing you just sort of go with what you're feeling and that's basically what I'm doing with uh, the character Tristan but um yes and on that note um there's some really really beautiful amazing music that helps me with that writing um I'll put some bands and their favorite songs and favorite albums by my favorite songs and albums by them in the description uh, for you to check out. Um, there's this one band called City and Color that really helps me like get immersed into my writing for for Love at First Flight. They're the only band I listen to. They're called City and Color for, for that writing, um, especially this the album Sometimes because it really gets me into the shoes of Tristan and what he's feeling for Natalie and um, like what he's picturing Natalie as like an angel or something you know cause like he's like oh my god she's so pretty she's like the perfect girl the perfectest girl ever the prettiest girl at the ball um yes that's um it really helps me focus on the writing and because if I listen to something like Metallica or Slipknot, then that just makes me want to write about, like, oh my god, Tristan's, like, a gothy person, or, like, he wants to, like, um, run away from his parents or something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's sort of off track. Um, Jesus, that guy looks angry. Um, I'm watching TV at the same time. Don't mind me if I... Um, double multitask track thing. Um, yes, multi-track task. Um, yes, about the writing, Love at First Flight, romantic story. Um, it's really an actually pretty hard story to write, because in the beginning, like, um, the story was actually called The First and Last Night, because I actually had the intention of killing Tristan off at the end of the story, but, well, spoiler, you might, you don't even know that, god damn. Um, 
Yeah, that was my first draft of the story. It was like lame. It was like they met in the library, and he's like, "Oh my god, you're so pretty," and he like ran away because he was like afraid of her, and she was like, "No, don't leave." And it was very emotional, not to write, but to picture. Um, yeah. Um, yes. What else do I say? Yes, keep on talking about the writing. Um, other than that, I think that the other stories I've been doing have been going more smoothly. I'm going to talk more about Thieves if you're so like, oh my god, when's he going to talk about Thieves? I'm going to talk about that in my next video. Um, right now I'm talking about Love at First Flight. It's it's actually one more, more of the more exciting projects I have, um, in my opinion, because it, it's more of a emotionally involved uh, story. And I actually get to have fun picturing it because it's sort of like my vision of what I think love is and uh, what I think relationships should be consisted of. Did I say that right? Yeah, I did. I will say stuff right. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start putting up some uh, Love at First Flight content earlier than all my other stories, actually. Um... And it's uh, it's actually pretty feels pretty good writing those kind of things. I gain those things off my chest because I can't really tell any but anybody about those feelings. Cause then they're gonna be all like, "Oh, Jazz, you're such a sissy." Because uh, like I can't tell people like what I think that it'll be like to be with a girl that like I don't know shares the same interests as me. You know, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, watch out for. Uh, uh, love at first flight samples that will be good coming up on. Uh, um, I'm not, I'm hesitant to give you guys my Facebook page because I know you're gonna hack the heck out of it and you're just gonna like destroy it and put like like Justin Bieber as my favorite page or something. But whatever, I'm just gonna shoot the bite the bullet. I don't know how you say it. I'm just gonna risk the bull. I'm gonna sacrifice the calf and put up my Facebook page so you guys can actually see some samples of it after I get all these birthdays, happy birthday spams off of my page. Um, yes, check that out. Wait, you have to friend me. Don't friend me. Uh, I'm going to put up a blog, a separate blog. So you guys can check that out. It's actually, I'm going to actually like, reinitiate my blog because I actually shut it down because I was afraid of plagiarizers once, but that was a long time ago. But that's a distant memory now. Distant nightmares. Um... So I'm going to reinitiate that. I'm going to put some samples up there. Not the whole story, because you guys are going to be, like, getting the whole thing for free. I don't, I don't know why I say for free. Uh, it's like it's ever going to cost anything more than $1. Um, I don't want to give away the whole story, because you guys are going to be like, whatever. You know, I'm not going to put up the whole story. I'm just going to put, like, a few pages. And um, so you can guys, so you guys can get a taste of it. Uh, like I said, not thieves. Love at first flight. And that's what's gonna go up first. Um, later, I will. Uh, wait, yeah, I'm gonna talk about thieves in my next video, and I think I might talk a bit about the stowaway and shroud of innocence. But uh, those are very, very far away discussions that I'm gonna be having with you, the viewers. So. Peace out and have fun. And if you're a writer, then come chat with me on Blog TV. I'm almost never there, but if you're lucky enough to catch me there, then feel free to chat with me about your writing and everything. Um, I'm open to discussions. So, good night.